this is a, a very dangerous situation. Um, you know, this is the unraveling of uh, 30 years of history after the uh, disintegration of the uh, Soviet Union. Um, and uh, it's now, uh, it, it's, it is in a, a profound sense out of control. Um, the war is going on. It's lasting longer than I think uh, a lot of people thought it would go on for. Uh, and there's no sign, no prospect at the moment of any peace uh, because the both sides are determined to fight. This is an absolute tragedy for the Ukrainian uh, people. Um, I think that, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, one of the questions uh, in relationship to this, I personally don't agree with what Russia did in terms of its uh, use of military action, but uh, it obviously felt deeply uh, pressed uh, by the way in which uh, uh, NATO expansion had proceeded more or less uh, to the Russian border over a long period, encouraged by uh, the United States and, 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 to a lesser extent, other European countries. Um, and that's how we, I think, have got uh, uh, to this situation. The question is, uh, how can it be brought to an end? Because if it's not brought to an end, it could escalate in a very dangerous fashion. Um, and I think uh, China is, uh, could play an absolutely critical role, a historic role in this situation. Um, I mean, if you have a mediator, the mediator's got to be agreeable to both parties. And China is in probably about the only country, I think it is the only country, uh, that is on friendly terms with both Russia uh, and with the Ukraine. Of course, the Ukraine is a very important element in the Belt and Road program. This, this war, war could unleash lots of things which we, we don't yet fully understand or comprehend. Um, but one thing that it has done is really consolidate the relationship between the United States and Europe. I, I, I don't think we should underestimate that. Uh, we haven't spoken about it so far. Uh, but really what's happening is a big shift in German foreign policy, for example. And Germany's been a very important player, not just in relationship uh, to uh, Russia, but also in its relationship with China. Let me just throw in another one while we're talking about this. And that is, I mean, the economic impact of this war on Europe because of the huge increase in commodity prices and uh, the cost of sanctions and so on. I mean, you know, the situ economic situation in my own country, Britain, uh, it, we're facing a big, big rise in the cost of living, uh, something we haven't seen on this scale for a very, very long time. And this is going to impact on other European countries as well.